Yo guys, we are back with another video. So so on Thursday, we got a we got another pre press conference from Ryan Day. And again, this again this was not there wasn't really a lot to talk about again. Not that um, not really ex that exciting really. There wasn't really much to talk about. This they just he just brought us over a lot of things. Um, you know, we got some news about the cornerbacks. Uh, I think it was Cam Brown. It was it Denzel Burke? They were a little bit tweaked up. Uh, they seem that it looks like they're gonna be okay. So that's that's a good thing. We're gonna need those corners. You know, some of the reporters asked about the other cornerbacks like J.K. Johnson and uh, Jer. I think Jer Brown, uh, guys who are stepping up in practice, which is a good thing. We're gonna need. We're gonna. Hey, we might need those guys to step up and play really well. So that that's a good thing. Um, also, uh, some other news we got was um, Cam Cameron Babb. Uh, he got the block O. He got the block O. Uh, uh, that's 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 a great thing. You know, he's he's been going through a lot of injuries. Uh, you know, very talented player. hasn't been gone, hasn't uh, been able to go on the field. So that's a great thing. So I, I'm I'm proud of him. I hope he plays a lot. Hope he he can he can really contribute a lot to this team. Uh, he's looking, he's physically like looking really uh, well, you know, he's, he's, you know, I heard is he's, he's very fast, like runs a four, three, something like that. So that's a great thing. And I, and I'm proud of him. He's, I think, I think he can really help this team. Also, we got media. So media, so on this, so media got to uh, watch the Buckeyes, uh, got to watch the Buckeyes, Buckeyes practice. And then some guys, uh, some guys flashed. We had guys like stick caged over that flashed. Who was looking really good from what I've heard, uh, caught caught a lot of uh, balls. Um, he was very, um, um, you know, he's a, you know, he's been he's been getting a lot of praise. He's a, you know, he played defense. Uh, very, very, he's gonna be very good in a, a, a blocking game. So that's so that's one guy that that flashed. Another guy was Emeka Buka, a fan favorite. We all know uh, his, we all know his skill set. Uh, great, great, great on kickoff returns, very fast. The number one number one wide receiver recruit in the country in uh, 2020 or was it 2021? It was one of those uh, recruiting class. I think it was 20, 2020. Uh, again, a guy that can really help. Uh, a guy who can who can uh, run with the ball uh, in his hands. Great, you know, very talented. So that's so that so that's that's the guy that has been that I've heard that has been who has been uh, shining in practice. Been really really good. So in other news, we got uh, we got uh, some some Notre Dame news. So Tyler Buckner is going to be named the starter in Week One, and I think we've already kind we kind of already knew that that was probably going to be the case. Tyler Buckner was up. Uh, he's a I think a high like a high four star recruit. I think a dual threat quarterback who can run and throw. Didn't really play a lot in. Um, I, I think not not a lot this season. I think he had like three touchdown passes and three uh, three interceptions. Didn't get didn't get a lot of play. Obviously, they had like they had Jack Cohn, who was a who was a who played at Wisconsin, transferred in at Notre Dame. So he's gonna be the starter uh, for uh, week one, and that's gonna be interesting. Let me know what y'all think about him. Is he gonna dominate? Is he gonna, just gonna be? Is he gonna is he gonna suck? Well, what do y'all guys think? Oh, we're gonna do to, we're gonna do to them do to them. So so I'm looking at my notes. So another. So, so uh, Ryan Day was asked about the offensive line, and he was just talking about how he wants more depth. Uh, he wants some guys to de develop more, so he can be more confident in the O line. You know, kind of try to get guys who are you know eight, nine deep. Um, again, that's probably probably one of the concerns. But the thing is, with this new with new college football, it's kind of it's kind of hard to get to have really deep offense, have a deep offensive line. You know, the, a lot of guys are transferring out, so that's that's one thing. Um, Sorry, just looking at the notes. Oh yeah, one thing that uh, one thing that uh, probably that I think kind of, uh, Ryan Day kind of confirmed it. We are gonna, I think we are gonna, we're, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna rotate, we're gonna rotate more receivers this year. Last year we only had, we only used pretty much three, four receivers. We pretty much used three receivers. I mean, obviously there were two, they were so talented, so yeah, you had to put them on the field. But this year we're gonna have, uh, I think we are gonna rotate a lot more. Uh, in the receiver in the in the receiving room, and I think that's uh, I think that that's kind of the case because we have we have so many kind of, we have some unknowns about who who's going to be the third receiver. Some people say it's going to be Emeka Buka. Some get, some some say it's going to be um, 
Julian Fleming. I mean, those two are, are have been again. Those two have been uh, flashing. I think uh, Julian Fleming had the Iron Iron Buckeye Award given out to him. Again, another guy who has, who hasn't been healthy, but I heard he's been flashing. And you know, we have we have even more guys. We got we have uh, again Cameron Babb, uh, Jaden Ballard, those guys. So that's gonna. So I think I, I'm I'm very excited. I feel I feel like we should have kind of you know rotated the receivers a little bit, a little just a little bit more last year. But again, we had we had we had two first two first round picks. So I mean, it's kind of like do do you really do you really want to do you really want to rotate? Do you really want to rotate wide receivers uh, when when you have that when you have that much skill uh, on on your team? Like when, when you're that good. So hey, it, it is what it is, right? Uh, and so one thing uh, we heard that I mean, uh, what's his name? Caleb Brown uh, was practicing in was practicing uh, in punt return. Uh, we're gonna need a guy like that. We're gonna need some uh, some guys in punt return. I'm not too too really. I'm not too big on uh, Jackson Smith and Jigma being uh, being on punt return. But here's the thing, right? Um, what's his name? Uh, Devonte Smith, he was a he was a punt return he, he punt returned in, in Alabama. So your best player can your best player can do that, but personally, I'm not I, I don't I, I'm not really too sure on on him uh, really punt, uh, being back there on, on punt returns. And that's yeah, I mean again that that's that's pretty much it. Also, you also they talked about the tight uh, the tight ends too. Uh, uh, G Scott again, another fan favorite. You know, he's been you know developing. Uh, from from my sense, I, I don't think from from what I'm hearing, it seems like he's not like. Sorry, the I don't know why this why why my camera's so blurry. The just a, just. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, hold on. Technical difficulties right here. So I mean, that, just don't don't worry about the don't worry about the the camera. But uh, one thing was the um. One thing, I, I, again, like with, with G. Scott, I heard it, it doesn't seem like he's he's ready yet to, to be that tight end. But, I, again, I think we're going to need him in the red zone. 